Hey, yeah, welcome to Red State Update. My name's Jackie Brawls. Folks, people, it's Dunlap. Thank you for joining us here on the Red State Update podcast. We realize things are are dark these days. Things are are uh, not going great unless you're a, a racist or an authoritarian or uh, yeah, a bully who likes to uh, uh, parade their guns around uh, or um, uh, a criminal or uh, uh, someone who roots for the destruction of everything good about the nation of the United States of America, or well, just a, a mean person, or a uh, awful, uh, what were you going to say? A ignorant racist. Yeah, r- ignorant racist. I think it started off with racist, but it's good for you to clarify about the ignorant ones. Uh, but big, sometimes, it may the same thing, but it's, yeah. Sometimes we forget that about the... You know, we say racist, and you think just the ignorant ones. But then smart racists, too. They're having a good time right now. I am. Yeah. But thanks for coming to the Red State Update podcast. You know, sometimes we forget that our our goal here is to, uh, to talk about the news and to yell about the president of the United States. Donald Trump, Jackie, did you know that was the... Uh, uh, the president of the yes, uh, I know, I know it. Hell, there was an election four years. Let me just walk you through this real quick. There was an election four years ago, and uh, people, not more people than voted for the other person, but a, a lot of people got together and walked into a booth or sat down with a piece of paper and said, The person, and I'm using that term loosely that I want to be president of the United States of America uh, for the next four years, at least, is Donald J. Trump. A and bunch now, of people said that. Yeah, and now 200,000 of them are dead. So that's what happened. I just wanted to uh, just walking you through that part of it. And so uh, sometimes I think we forget that also we're here to give you uh, the gift of laughter. Wow. We're here to, to lighten your day. Like we're here to make humorous remarks. Remember, that's what we used to do. We'd get together. We'd say, oh, shit, <laughs> Scooter Libby. Fuck me. Right. <laughs> okay, come right. on. All right, let's do one of these. And he'd be like, I'm not going to have him. Scooter Libby today or whatever. And just this. No stakes. Felt like there were no stakes. Now, of course, everything, uh, looking back, was just uh, all leading, leading up to, to the destruction of our damn country. Yeah, yeah, we didn't know it at the time. No, we probably had a small hand in it. Well, a small hand, not as small as the hands of the president. That's that sort of resistance humor that people love on these podcasts. <laughs> He's got them little hands. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, so we'll try to to see if we can uh, make a few funny quips for you. Let's look at the news here. Rihanna Taylor. No, there's nothing we can do to make any to make anything. Um, that's just fucking horrible. I mean, that's just what a sad day in the in the nation. I think it gets even worse if it can get worse. I mean, imagine being a black woman waking up in America the day after. Uh, you've just been told that your life doesn't matter and you're not safe at home. You're definitely not safe out on the streets in your car, going to work, or picking up your kids, but not even at home asleep. But then people start coming out while she wasn't asleep. She was standing up. I think that's what makes it worse that people start nitpicking at it Why? to see how they can get even more racist about it. Because there's it- always got to be some reason that they deserve it. Black in people, bed, sitting in a day. chair. Like, who gives a damn standing? They came in and, and killed her. Oh, well, he shot. They knocked. Didn't you hear him knocking? They, I, I think they rung the bell. They were like, hello, it's the police. Well, Somebody then, but- in the parking lot thought they heard somebody say listen do the police want you to know it's a police when they does it matter i mean are, are they knocking going yep yeah, try it one more time i don't know shit 
Now they're banging on the door. They're saying it's the police at the same time. They're knocking the door down. You in there, if you in bed, if you've ever busted into somebody's house in the middle of the night, you know, they jump up out of bed real quick. It doesn't matter. I don't even want to argue this stupid bullshit with people who are convinced that there's always a reason to shoot a black person. Just join the police force. You don't have to argue it on Twitter. Just go join the police force. There's a bunch of people just like you who share that belief for now. Far too many. Far too many. Or go get with your buddies in the damn uh, white people beard brigade. No offense, Jackie. Why? They like to drive around Louisville with their guns. Oh, yeah. If the, oh. if the police won't take you, if you're not uh, racist enough or whatever for the police, then, you know, just join one of them groups. You, you get actually you get bigger guns if they're in the, you know, militia. They give you a real big gun. Police just got you know the, the cops. Got, the cops got those guns. They don't always. Some sometimes they start out with them. Like if sure. the president needs you to clear a demonstration, you start out with the bigger guns. Sometimes you just kind of keep them in. The, but those guns, that's important. You got to spend that money. You got to use them big guns. But these these uh, dumb motherfuckers, these shriveled watching. dick little pieces of fucking shit. <laughs> Walking around the streets of Louisville, Kentucky, threatening people, acting like they're big. <sighs> these, but they they uh, they got to bring their guns out at first because if you just see them walking down the street, so they don't have a lot of the armor like the cops have. The other stuff that the cops have spent all their money on, uh, their tanks, whatever. They're just big fat assholes walking down the street. I'm trying not to make fat jokes anymore. So I was only going to do it about Trump and myself, but I'm going to make an exception for these dumb motherfuckers all walking right. down the street, acting like they big shots. The sentiment there, just watch the language here. Yeah. My guns, my dick. My guns, my dick. Just the worst pieces of shit. I think there's a chance we can shoot black people tonight. Like, this isn't even funny. It's not even funny because it's exactly what they said. We, can, we better go. How many can you fit in a car? Well, I, I ain't been working out since COVID hit, so uh, two more. So... Uh, Brianna Taylor, just uh, terrible. And then the cop, uh, the Jonathan Mattingly, sent that email out saying, like, "Oh, I just, you know, we did the right thing here. I can't believe it. We, you do not deserve to have these thugs throw bottles of urine at you just because we accidentally." Like, I can't believe they're still mad about this. Like, they can't even understand it. They were never going to do anything about this. It, it, it's heartbreaking. We all knew it. And at the same time, there was a little bit of hope because it seemed like things. They were taking their time to better. figure out that, that they ain't going to do nothing. So if they're taking your time, that's just another day, another hour, however long for you to hope for the best. They should have just come out and said, we ain't going to do nothing, which is exactly what they did. Exactly what they did. No. And then they put out this stuff, uh, you know, so in doubt so that you think she deserved to get shot. Nobody deserves to get shot down home. And uh, they put this stuff out so that you think uh, she deserved it. And because they can't have a, a, a flicker of a George Floyd moment where people might be, well, should maybe they ought not to do this. They've got to make you forget the fact that she was asleep in her own home. That cops just can break into your home and shoot you. No repercussions, nothing. Just a lot. I, I'm telling you, I would just like to say, just to see what would happen, just out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you held some of these uh, uh, police murderers accountable for what they do, I wonder if they if they would stop doing it. I wonder if a few of them would stop doing it because this pretty much says, "Oh yeah, you can do that. That's fine." Now, now we we looked into it. Yes, you can walk yeah. into a, a black person's home and mm -hmm. shoot them, whether they're standing, asleep, in a chair. It don't matter. That is okay. 
Yes, it don't matter. We that's had a the, grand jury. We sat there. We all talked about it. And we we determined that. Yep, that's fine. Yep, it don't matter. It just it, yeah, that's fine. That's it. Don't matter. That's an interesting theory, Jackie. We'll never we'll never test it. We're not gonna find out. Nope. We're just gonna let it keep happening. And then the other thing is, I, I can't even imagine just being white dude that looks like. One of them dumb motherfuckers walking around with a gun. Hey. I mean, that, give me one of them giant guns. I would look exactly like one of them stupid ass pieces of shit cracker motherfuckers. Hey. You'd be, I, I get emails all the time. Don't that was this you? No, I just got a beard. I'm terribly out of shape and I look like a complete idiot. I, I put on camo. You go, that, they go into a protest. Imagine. So I can't, I can't comprehend how I can get mad about it, but I, I don't understand how it feels. And then if somebody listening to this, going through all these feelings, then you have to be reminded again, just because we're talking about it, because you have to talk about it. You have to talk about the news. And here we are again, reminding people that cops think that they don't matter. It's, it's just, it, it's, it's not good. No, nope. I didn't grow up. I, you know, I've had a lot of run-ins with the police, Jackie. Oh yeah, and it's my privilege that I'm allowed that has allowed me to to shit in the back of cop cars. All right, every time they pick me up for a drunk or disorderly, I don't have to worry that they're gonna shoot me. I mean, they threaten a few times, but they don't. They don't do. It. I don't have to worry about these things. I can antagonize, run from the cops. I mean, I can't really. I can't run like I used to could. More like crouch and try to hide. That's all privilege. Duke's a hazard. Maybe that's a woker show that we give it credit for. Maybe it's really a critique of white privilege. These two old white hillbillies running from the cops in Kentucky. No way. They're in Georgia. Hazard County is actually in Kentucky. I get confused. They were in Georgia. Real Hazard County, Kentucky TV show. TV show. Uh, Georgia, cops, but really out there in Hollywood, because everything's so damn dry, you don't, it, it, you know, you could tell it. It, it, it didn't even look humid. No. Nope. The cops never really do anything to them white boys. And the top of their car, Confederate flag, basically like that proud boy's hand symbol. So they knew every time maybe they get real mad. And they're about to do something. They're like, oh, right. No, I can't. They're one of us. Corrupt cops. Yeah. Should we re rewatch those? No. Okay. James Best is funny. I know. It, 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 you know, can the, what they go in and in, in movies, like a Walt Disney movies, they go in and take the racist cartoon out uh, in the old ones, right? You can yeah. do computer or whatnot. You go in there and take out the flag, I guess, but then they're going to say General Lee over and over again. You don't have to have the flag on, you know. Maybe there's some way you go in and do a computer. Like I do Star Trek, all, all those old shows. They go in and do something with a computer. And well, instead of them saying, oh, I blew the tires out on the General Lee, they could go, I blew the tires out on the car. They'd yeah, have to stretch it out a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, but that you know, you get used to it after a while. Listen, I tell you what, I, people would be pissed off. Oh yeah, they'd be mad as hell about that. They too. lost racists have lost Dolly Parton, Chris Stapleton, uh Sturgill Simpson, Jason Isbell, Tyler Childers. And now uh they'd lose Dix of Hazard too. Bo and Luke, but you know, they still got them. They weren't racist. I remember a lot of, I may be misremembering this, but I do feel like there were, see, we're going to have to watch it, Jackie. I feel like there were a lot of black day players on the Dukes of Hazard, Not in, as cast members, but they like, we got to balance this flag out. Can we have somebody be the waitress? I mean, representation matters. I, in most cases, Anyway, the, so uh, 
things are not great in uh, yeah, the country and uh, Kentucky. The two uh, police officers have been shot so far. Uh, everybody out there protesting, God love you for doing standing up for what's right, but please be careful out there. This, everybody, watch. First off, there's a pandemic. Let's remind everybody of that. 200, you know, thousand people dead. So put your mm-hmm. mask on, all that stuff. But just be careful. I just, I don't want to see more people get killed. I, I don't think anybody does, except the militia people out there hoping, you know, they luck out. Looking for the opportunity. I always see them talking to the police. They're always get. I mean, and I ain't trying to make assumptions or whatnot, but you see the little videos or something in there. Okay, y'all go over here. They're listening to the police. Where would you like us? Well, if I was a police officer if, and, he, and he got like a weapon of war like that, I'd, I'd want you as far away from me as possible. But that doesn't appear to be the case uh, in Kentucky right now. It seems like, uh, y'all go over here, we'll go over here, we'll, we'll take care of it all. Yeah, uh, you watch these videos on Twitter from these protests where these white uh, racist terrorist militia groups show up and they look like them police putting on a second grade Christmas play. All right. We need all the, um, y'all militias over here with your guns. I'm going to put you, you boys are a little taller. So I'm going to put y'all in the back and I'm going to put, uh, you protesters right here so we can beat the shit out of you. And I need somebody to be a tree. And that's who's on this, who's doing the smoke machine. You see, you see that one of the cop rolled his bike. Uh, there was a, man, a protester laying on the ground, uh, just right, rolled his bike right over that dude's head and he hit somebody else with his bike after that. I mean, and we were going to do a podcast where I just described to you videos of police violence from uh, the summer protests, we, it'd be long. It'd be four or five hours long, maybe longer. You have to do part two, part three. Believe people, shooting people in the groin with rubber bullets or whatnot. Of course, president likes that when you shoot reporters and getting everybody cheering that on. That's good. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, just, yeah. Just pitiful. Just, yeah. Let me tell you something. The president does. The president, and when I say president, I just want to remind everybody: this is Donald Donald Trump, a, a terrible person, the worst of America. Worst. Uh, the opposite of everything I thought the South stands for. Uh, someone we've been um, uh, yelling about for four to five years. Uh, Donald Trump does not care about cops. He does not give a shit about police. He does not give a shit about the cops who got shot. But he is. I'm going to go out on a limb here. When cops get shot, Trump loves it because it lets him scare the people he wants to scare into voting for him. Yeah. I don't think – somebody tell me I'm wrong. Tell me that Trump is sitting at it. Well, there's people who think that Trump gets up every morning and he gets on those – creaking bloated knees of his and he he kneels and he prays to, to trump jesus which is just a real son of a bitch and he prays to trump oh oh jeez oh sir will you please please help everybody who's hurting got to save those babies the 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 babies the sex trafficked children and the aborted babies and the the shot police he does not give a shit about anything 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 he does, he does, all anything. he does all he does in the morning is put on morning joe and cuss at the tv that's it <laughs> that's all that man does i don't I, look i'm not trying to be uh, a fucking uh, edge lord or anything right. just if you're listening to us i don't know why you have why you would have got this far and you love trump and you think he really cares about the country and he he was put here by the Lord. Like, just for two seconds, just think about it. He he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't give a shit about the cop. He hates the cops. He hates you. He hates the people who touch dirt. Farmers. I, I, that's what I call them sometimes. Disgusting people. No one will shake hands. Dirt hands. Dirt hands. Suckers, Folks. losers, and dirt yeah. hands. That's all of you. 
hates the military, doesn't understand. The, the, he would just like to be in charge of the military, which could, could happen uh, in a, a few weeks. Just get rid of the generals. Let him tell. Because he wants to get rid of the uh, the FDA. He, he wants to override their their thoughts. He wants to control the CDC. He wants to control uh, science, medicine. Science don't Kentucky know. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Science don't know. Science don't know. So it's get cool. It's going to cool down. Science don't know. So, it's, yeah, shot cops do not matter to Trump. I mean, he'll get on there and tweet about them. Fast as he can, trying oh, to be. Oh, he gets Biden. extreme about it. You get you you give him material every time a police officer yeah. gets shot. He that's a good twenty five minutes. He's got at his next uh, uh, show where he's going to get uh, everybody sick at. I'd be madder about that than a lot of this other shit. I mean, how he's putting you at risk by uh, if you're a cop family, if you're a cop, if you're. Uh, uh, got cop loved ones you are being put at risk by trump inflaming this racial bullshit and i think a lot of people in the country know it i I, honest to god think that most people are catching on to it that even if you're fucking racist this is not the best way to handle your fucking business so i uh, you're not on uh, trump is not on your side if you're a soldier if you're a cop if you got soldiers or cops in your family not on your side. He's definitely not on your side if you're black. He ain't on anybody's damn size but his own big fat ass side. Excuse my language. We got to stop. After I, I know. we got to pull it back. We got to pull it back. It hurts people. It hurts. It hurts. But, you know, it makes me feel the tiniest bit better. We're really like, I think, Jackie, I think we're really killing it with the jokes on this one. I was worried. I was like, there's no way you can't be funny about things and make you little jokes and talk. But I think we knocked it out of the park. I don't think we went down that rage road where it's just people letting off steam on a podcast for other people to listen to. I think we really, I think we really tied it together. Oh, he's not going to concede. Yep, he can't. He can't answer that question. I ain't gonna. It's you just, know, we'll wait and see. Wait and see. If I win, there's not gonna be any kind of problem. Everything will be fine. If I win, don't you worry. Yeah. Things are gonna go smoothly, uh, peaceful, everything out. Other than you that, the, you get rid of the ballots. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, but just continue. I can't think of nothing. Continue is the worst word I can imagine right now. Uh, Let's just continue. Hey, we're just going to keep rolling along. Things are going pretty good, right? We're just going to truck on down into 2021. Y'all ready? The hell with the FDA. I'm going to have this vaccine ready. But yeah, if I'm going to win, everybody gets a shot. I can and I, Happy Days episode Man, all these references are from the 70s Happy Days episode where Fonzie's doing a dance marathon You go, oh shit, remember that? Fonzie can't tired. make it He gets tired, he, yeah He's licked, he's too tired Trump's like, oh, no I'm Fonzie Gets his second win, does that Russian dancing shit Remember that? No I don't even know what he was doing, it's crazy that's Trump. He's like, I'll show you. Who, I thought I, I was tired. Now, everybody talking about this today, it, of, uh, the, the, him going past the FDA. Well, if the FDA tries to hold this up, I, I, we're going to have to step in there and make sure we get this uh, vaccine vaccine out. We ain't going to let nobody stop that. I don't know why they'd want more people sick or whatever. Who is he doing that for? Who is he <laughs> rushing a vaccine for? Because all of his people... Ain't none of them wearing a mask at his rallies. He, uh, poor old Jim Acosta, and trust me, I don't like to feel sorry for Jim Acosta, but out there talking to people, they said, it's a, it's a hoax, it's a scam. I don't care. I don't believe any of this. So who is he rushing it for? I ain't going to take it. Anything that the FDA don't approve of nobody else but him, and, you know, oh, no, I ain't going to take it. So his people going to take it. They don't even think the damn thing's real. Why would they take it? I don't, I don't understand what they're rushing, 
rushing a vaccine for. The FDA, this all started because the FDA come out and said, well, it all starts because nobody trusts him. But the FDA just said, oh, they're going to have tougher standards, right, for a coronavirus vaccine. And then it was like, well, shit, they ain't going to be able to get that out before the election. So I guess there goes that of Trump's. And then Trump comes out and says, no, 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 no. I'll I'll put it out if I want to. <laughs> and and who's to stop him? Because the CDC has to change what it has every, every day. He got some radiologist, I don't even know the man's damn name, up there, his new head of the, you know, the, what do you call it, the task force. Oh, all, all he does is just yes, man, a damn president. Scott don't Atlas. Know, Scott Atlas. He don't know a damn thing about it. He knows as much about Rand, as Rand Paul does. And also, is that really his name? Because that sounds like we're at the stage where everybody in Trump's administration sounds like somebody, a name that Trump made up on the on the phone with the reporter. Oh, yeah, I got this new guy, uh, Chad Wolf. Oh, Chad Wolf. Wolf, uh, Scott Atlas, Dr. Scott Atlas. Dr. <laughs> Atlas, yeah. Are we sure? Are we 100% sure these are not actors that he has hired? Like like Christian actors, like Orange County actors. Who Oprah hired Dr. Oz, did, didn't she? Uh, is he not real either? I, hell, that I don't know sense. what's real, what ain't. The Russians have done their job. So Scott Atlas is the guy <laughs> It's going to run off Dr. Burks. I don't know if they can run off Fauci. Is he even supposed to be there? He was over there fighting with, with Rand Paul. I, I, they, they, don't, they ain't paying attention to Fauci anymore. He don't go on Fox News. He's on CNN all day, him and uh, Dr. Gupta. And so they Fauci just run said, no, we ain't going to do that. No, that doesn't make any sense. No. I mean, he did have to go on, the, you know, on the Senate floor and tell Rand Paul he's full of it. Like we need Dr. Fauci to do that. I need Fauci. This is what we need Dr. Fauci doing is focusing on how to make this country safe. And, you know, maybe less America's dying, but no, what is that Dr. Fauci got to do? He got to sit there and, and debate Rand Paul. And Rand Paul don't know what the hell he's talking about. Can you imagine that's your job? Uh, to fight with Rand Paul? Go on CNN. To him? Go or, on CNN. Get, come back here and fight with Rand Paul. Like, if, if you don't, if you ain't married to him or live next door to him, you should not have to fight with Rand Paul. No. Like, no one should be forced to do that. No. Especially a man who, who you know, could essentially help save millions of lives. That's not where he needs to be. You know, I know this is starting to sound like the obvious podcast. We're like, yeah, cops are killing black people. Everything is terrible. Uh, but there's no reason for us to be in this mess. There's no reason for us to be six months in and in the same position we were when we started. Like, I don't even know what is happening anymore. Like, they could have turned Fauci loose on this. Everybody could have sent home. For two months, they could have paid everybody. They could have paid everybody easily, sit at home for two months, wait for it to get testing. We still like, can't even damn test people at this point. And it'd be over. It'd be, yeah. It wouldn't be over, but it would. we could deal with it. It we wouldn't be like this. Yes. We're just people like, keep, oh, it, keep dying because they don't they, 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 nobody just go on. I don't even know if it's too, it's probably too late. If if Biden somehow managed to pull off, get in there, I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be a mess either way. It it won't be nearly as messy as this. I'll take it, whatever it, whatever he got up his sleeve. But here, they, oh, movie theaters, they may go out of business. Shit, they may lose. Coronavirus killed movie theaters. Trump killed movie theaters. Yeah. We can all be watching Tenet right now, you stupid motherfuckers. Hey, what is it? And nobody, and, oh, restaurants, oh, shit, you got to go out there and support your favorite restaurant. Trump is killing your favorite restaurant. Where's the money? Like, he could have come out and been a, a leader. He knew it was bad because he's on tape saying it. 
the Bob Woodward? He said he said the exact opposite. He said we got the tapes. You can hear it. And he goes one of these things that where nobody's wearing a damn mask. He ain't just killing restaurants and movie theaters. He's killing you. And, and, and just avoidable. I mean, just every decision he made. No need for it. Doesn't even make sense. And the worst decisions he made is when he didn't make no goddamn decisions. And this is all because he thought it'd help him win. By doing the, the, the dumbest shit. So, like, he can't you even win an election. You would think if you wanted to win, you would do everything in your power to tackle this and, 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 and do something about it instead of just sitting on a phone with Bob Woodward. If he no, really wanted to, to, to do something, you, if you wanted to win, show the American people that you're going to tackle. You know, here's what we got to do. We got to, you know, no. No, he's saying uh, it doesn't affect nobody. Yeah, literally said that that night. Like, it, it hardly anybody gets gets this. This old people, which, of course, when he says old people, look, he need to look in the mirror, and then the half of the people out there, he got screaming and hollering. With no mask on. I forget where I saw this, but somebody uh, posed the question, could uh, all the old people who Trump killed be the difference between him winning the election and not winning? Like, that's not even funny. Like, 200,000 people dead. Like, it would be, it would not be funny in the traditional sense of the word. It would be terrible because it's people who you know, dear listener, uh, who have died, who have gotten sick. But if he lost by 200,000 votes, it would be appropriate, I guess. I want him to lose by 200 million votes. Yep. I want him to lose by 200 billion, like whatever, like multiply the population of the United States by three. And that would be a, a start. So did you, Fauci, did you hear about the guy who worked for Fauci, who was uh, online calling him a mask Nazi? Yeah, he's one of them uh, crazy people. Yeah. They don't, Fauci's, uh, work for the same agency. Work for, like, you know, Red State. Hey, that's, a, that's a good name. I wonder where they come up with that. Uh, been uh, just calling him names on there and then uh, going in work. Hey, how you doing, Tony? And now he's going to retire. Yeah, probably time for him to retire. And then what? I guess just dig, put his face on the vaccine bottle. Yeah, something. Scott Adams may, may misstep any minute. He, he rush him in there. Scott Atlas. Not so, Atlas. Does he want to win, though, Jackie? Because as we discovered this week, he we ain't even got to RBG dying. As we discovered this week, Trump we won't say that he'll leave office. He kind of threatening that he ain't really. Yeah, if, if you ask saying. him, are, are you, you, you gonna make sure it's peaceful? I don't know about that. I mean, what that saying? Yeah. It ain't gonna be peaceful. Is what he's saying. Now I don't know if he can pull that off. He seemed to get away with everything else. I don't have clue. People said, "Oh, you just—he was joking." Of course, he always joking. Oh, look at the the liberal and the Democrat just screaming to high heaven over nothing. He's just Trump, you know. Of course, all Republicans have to come out, get on Twitter, try to go on TV, say, "No, whatever happens, it's going to be a peaceful transition of power." Like, why are you telling me on Twitter? T- t- I know. I've, I've the uh, so far that I've lived in country. That's how it usually works. Why are you telling me? Don't tell me that. Tell it, friend. It dumbass. Excuse my language. There's a whole big scene in Hamilton where George Washington's like, "I no, I got to go out peacefully, go back home to my slaves." I don't think he wraps that part, but it's sort of wrapped unsaid. But that's a whole big part of Hamilton where it's like this. Why is he a good president? Because he's like, ah, no, let me show you how to say goodbye. I mean, if any, if there's anyone Americans want to see say goodbye, it's Donald Trump. But he he will not give us that pleasure. And it doesn't matter. He's already ruined everything just by saying this. He's gone. And we know even if he loses big, which everybody's, oh, we got to make sure. People on Twitter say that's huge landslide. It doesn't matter. He's already saying it's not. It's not going to be that. The, the the results are corrupt. 
the naked ballots. What do they call the? Uh, so he's already ruined it. He's already ruined the transfer of power. He's ruined the presidency. You can get away with any, what, anything. He's ruined every Look. one of the institutions that we were taught to respect and laws to uphold. And what it does, what it tells to, tells you every time he steps over the CDC, the FDA, FBI's barely hanging on. Uh, the, the Attorney General, Bill Barr, corrupt as hell. Yep. What, it, what it tells you is all of these things that are the what the foundation of the you know why we're alive how we fuck they must not have been that damn good to begin with if a dumb ass excuse my language like him can screw up every single one of them how rock sturdy were these things if someone like him can walk through granted he getting a lot of help from the GOP in Russia a lot of help that's a lot of help he's getting with through every bit of this. But how great were these institutions if a man like that, the worst kind of human being, can just come in there and not even know that he's screwing it up half the time? He, I mean, he don't know what it is he's breaking. Don't care what it is he's breaking. He's uh, uh, one of them kids that just Im- immediately runs through Toys R Us, picking up every toy and smashing it on the edge it. of the aisle. And it, up. it doesn't matter because his mama got the money to pay for it. So it doesn't matter what he breaks. It is one of the things about Trump and us not knowing how bad to freak out about the fact that he's basically saying he would prefer to not leave office is because you never know. Is he evil, demon, omen, mat- criminal mastermind? Uh, is he being there? I like to watch Ducey. Like you can't tell. You're always, and he's a little bit of all of that. We heard him on the Woodward tapes sounding almost normal. But I think that's the best description I've heard in a long time, Jackie. He, he, he doesn't know what he's breaking. It, no. it was smart. That was real smart. No, it ain't smart. It's just what it is, which I look at, see every day. And then on top of that, things are a lot of white people, I will say, are waking up to the fact that a lot of these institutions of this country that we've held on to were created uh, to keep uh, slaves, to take land from Native Americans, uh, to uh, put white people on top of everybody else. That's a hard lesson (laughs) to go to learn. Not, you know, I'm not saying cut us no slack or nothing. I'm just saying it's a hard lesson to learn, even if we had the best president in the world. But instead, we got a guy who's shitting on everything. Yeah. And he's rub and like he rubs his shit on it. And it's like one of them like invisible ink yellow pens you used to get at Walmart for cheap. And you'd highlight the book. You'd be, oh, look, here's a secret message. He rubs his shit on the Constitution. And it's like, oh, that's the, it comes out like this was easy to fuck up. Like the message comes up, this fucking idiot did it. Hey. So there's nobody to help guide us through dealing uh, with the racist history of our country because he's just another uh, example of it. Yeah. That's why we're all tired. And I'm white. And I'm tired. Shit. So, okay, Jackie, we've talked about, uh, we've talked about a lot. But we ain't talking about RBG. We need to do that. Now, I don't care what political side you may be on or not. The woman uh, lived, uh, you know, uh, quite the life. She helped shape this nation in ways that, I mean, we'll be learning about from years to come. She served on the Supreme Court as long as she did. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, great American. That's why, you know, I, th- I heard this. Is she the first woman to to be in the coffin? You go look at her up there in Washington? I, I think so. I think I also saw somebody say she was first uh, Jewish American. Yeah. Is that, I don't know if that's the right 
phrase. She was, well, she was Jewish. Jewish and she was and American. she was American. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's looking at it like that. Did you see even old Trump went to go pay his respects? I don't know if anybody saw that video. If you ain't, it's, it's worth a look. I don't want to take away from the funeral part of it, but it's nice to see him get booed like that, especially in the mask because they put out, oh, look what a badass when he put that mask on that other time. But this time he doesn't look like a badass. No. He just looks like he, get me the hell out of here is what he looked like. Yeah. It's nice to watch him get booed. I recommend it. It helps. It, it helps does. I think it's important for the world and everyone to see him get booed and cussed. I, 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 I think that's important. That's the reason I show up every week to do this. <laughs> so, if you remember, Jackie, I don't know if you recall, but the president before Donald Trump, but yeah, Donald Trump is president now. I don't know if we've covered yeah, that. Enough, yeah, yeah, I know. Hell. Barack Obama was president before Donald Trump, and yep. he was going to appoint a Supreme Court justice. Well, that's what the president's supposed to do, I think, isn't it? But Mitch McConnell said, no, sir. There is an election coming up. And you, sir, shall not appoint a Supreme Court justice. And he did not. Well, he may have recommended they do. Like, oh, what about this guy? And then there's just like crickets. Merrick Garland. Who wasn't even like far left or nothing. He would pay, there were some liberals that wasn't even crazy about him. You'd ask him a question. You know, what do you think about this? He'd go, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm right in the middle about it. They said, well, that's too far left. Now, you you reckon, how do you feel on this hot button issue? It's a, well, I mean, you could do this or you could do that. Uh, I could see I, both sides of that. I, <laughs> they wouldn't go for him. Would not go for him. They did not. People were mad. They said, well, we're going. All right. You think you're so smart? If this happens again, oh, I'm going to pull up that video. All of them. Every one of them got a little little uh, uh, Merrick Garland or Supreme Court pick a video. Uh, Lindsey Graham's real good when he, he like goes so far as to say, use this again. Like he's warning <laughs> you, please use this against me. If, if I ever do something like this, use it against me. We knew this was happening. I don't know oh. what we expected. I, even if, let's say, Trump, oh, oh, please, had not been elected. And like Jeb Bush was president right now. Same thing be happening. They'd be doing this. Right. Yeah, this ain't a Trump thing. Trump's now got to bend it his way due to, I mean, he's already he already said it out loud. He said it out loud. We need nine people on the Supreme Court because yep. they're going to be deciding this election. It's going to go before the Supreme Court. He got all of his lawyers and electors and all that mess. I, it's so confusing. I don't even know if they can pull it off. But supposedly all the battleground states are going to put people in there that will go against the popular vote. On and on and on. All these scheme scams. I think they're just trying to do everything, cover all the bases. Take away the drop boxes. On and on. Because if people actually vote, they will lose. The GOP will lose. The only way they've been able to go on so far is to cheat, cheat, and then cheat some more. That's all Miss McConnell knows how to do. That's what he's doing right now. That's what he will do until the day he is gone, whenever that may be. You think they're going to be laying Miss McConnell in state, you reckon, when he finally passes? What state? Yeah. I, I we knew they were going to do this. It still hurts when they do it. It still is infuriating because it's going to help. It's going to help Trump. I mean, we knew that they weren't going to go. Oh right, yeah, we said we wouldn't do it, but we're going to do it. We're going, and you we're knew, going to and you knew we were going to do it, which we did. We did. I knew that all full of it back in. 
But yeah, Trump's got this set up. I got to put a number nine because we can't have this election hanging in there. So whoever he picks, and I know they're saying it's this lady or that lady. I'm glad it's a woman. I will say that even if they are conservative, whatever. At least it's a woman. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's a step in the right direction. I'm all, I'm all for that. It's nice there'll be some gender parity on the court in our new Handmaid's Tale nation. At least we can say, oh, Judge Amy, representation matters. But not in every case. Well, now you talk about playing little videos of someone saying this and now doing something different. Whoever the judge he picks, he Mitch McConnell crams it through. They get them on. They get them up there. They're on there. And let's say it does go to Supreme Court, which probably it will because Trump's got a how many lawyers out there? I hear uh, Biden's doing the same thing. They are just all they get lawyers, get lawyers. So when it does go between up to, to the Supreme Court. Ain't that judge, after they show that little video of the president saying over and over again, we need nine because I got to win this election, would they recuse himself? I'm going to say probably not because, uh, you know, because of Jeff Sessions, a man who has never done the right thing in his life except maybe once right then. He didn't know how how far things were going to go. Oh, he, he thought, you know, he kicking himself. He lost that election. Trump cussed him for the rest of his life. He could have, oh, I could have just lied like Bill Barr. All I had to do was just lie and, 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 and break every law that I'm supposed to be upholding. I could have done that. Well, shit. Excuse my language. I didn't know it was all the laws. I thought it was just most of the laws. I thought I was supposed to be sneaky looking for little loopholes using the law as a way to punish black people, as we have done for generations in the South. I thought we were creating laws and using sneaky loophole laws to punish black people. But turns out there's just no laws. I could have done whatever I wanted to. Mad. That's going to be rattling in that old biggest head till the day he dies. What's he do now? Just sits on the porch. Get on out of here. Yeah. Who are you looking for? No, I never heard of them. He's on, I tell you what Jeff Sessions, he's on next door all day long. I saw a suspicious person. So, yeah, so nobody, uh, there was a minute before I realized, oh, yeah, they're just going to fuck us. Uh, I thought, well, are they going to get Mitt Romney on, on there, and they're going to get Lamar Alexander on there, and they did. They got them to just go right along with whatever. Right along, ride right them with. One day, Mitt, uh, one day Romney is, is, is saying, yes, I'm putting out a statement. I'm going to help Ram this person through. We're going to put them on the Supreme Court. Next day, he's saying, oh, peaceful. Oh, no, no, transfer. Well, maybe don't give the man that's threatening the damn country his pick of judge to protect him down the road when it does do something like that. Idiots. Ain't none of them worth a damn. Lamar Alexander, you embarrass me. Embarrass the state of Tennessee. Pitiful. Ain't. There's nothing good in you anymore. That's all you're going to be remembered for is this mess. That's it. Flannel clad piece of shit. Should yep. just, he walked across Tennessee when he campaigned. Should just kept walking. Yep. He was yep. governor of Tennessee. Is to hell with him. Ago. He said it now. And he, he retiring. He retiring. He ain't even going. He don't need to do all this. He's scared of Trump people. He's still scared of Trump people, I guess, in retirement. But yeah, just that, that ain't nothing to him. Ain't nothing. Ain't one damn thing worth a damn about the whole man. Him, Romney, all of them. Worst case scenario for Romney is he actually does stand up to Trump, and then like uh, we somehow wind up having to share a cell with him. Oh. So Biden's going to win, and then he is going to have to pack the Supreme Court. He's going to have to admit Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico is states in a 
in it. Get rid of electoral, have to. electoral college. Yes. Of course, he'll That's do all lot. that. He'll try not to do the, the, the Supreme Court. He'll do all that first, and then it goes in front of the Supreme Court, and they keep shooting down every bit of progress, Green New Deal, whatever the hell it may be. And that goes on for 30 years. Biden ain't got 30 years. So tell you what you need to do is go ahead and put two people on that court because otherwise, that's how it's going to be. It'll be a damn mare going round. They're saying that Democrats are anti-Catholic because they start and they say, oh, they're bashing. What's your name? Amy Coney Barrett. Oh, they're anti-Catholic. Anti-Catholic. I didn't. I mean, isn't Biden Catholic? Yeah, rosary beads. Uh, you know, it does. Yeah. Do people really think people are anti-Catholic? You know, I ain't been discriminated against it. I just walk around the streets, do what I want, pretty much. Take what I want. Drink what I want, piss where I want, All right. shit where I want. All right. So, yeah, maybe I'm sure there is a lot of Catholic discrimination I don't know about. I ain't too crazy about Catholic town outside of here, but it ain't got nothing to do with the religion right. in itself. <laughs> it was enough that we thought a uh, Catholic town, Jackie hating Catholic town. We talk about that all the time. We didn't try to hide that. Jackie's bigotry and racism. All right. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, uh, uh, I'm not going to downplay anything because the country's crazy. Next week, those dumb motherfuckers with the guns and the beards could be uh, going to Catholic churches for all I know. So yeah, no, we should not be anti-Catholic. I think it's okay for us to be against this woman. I think we can say no. Well, you can say no all you want, but Mitch McConnell is going to put that woman or whoever it is on that Supreme Court. That is going to happen. Next after that, good chance Roe v. Wade get turned around. Good chance. I, I'm not guaranteeing it, but there's a damn good chance. Damn good chance Obamacare. Be gone. And then what the hell are you going to do? Republicans, then what are you going to do, GOP? If you actually pull this off, 70% of the damn country don't want you to do it. 100 million people don't want to lose the health care with the swing of a gavel. So if you pull all this off, what are you going to do? I, I, I think I know what they're going to do. Nothing. Well, health care plan. Health care plan, my ass. My, excuse my language. What do you need a health care plan for? You just tell people that they ain't sick. Yeah. There ain't, ain't no that. cancer. Virus? You ain't got to wear a mask. Yeah, yeah. Heart disease. Bullshit. That sounds like Fauci talking. Diabetes? Uh-uh. That's that not helps. asthma. You just... Play active. I mean, they ain't climate change. They ain't coronavirus. So why don't they just say, uh, no, you ain't. There's going to be a whole generation of people because of this president more than anybody else. They're going to live with health issues for the rest of their lives because of this COVID stuff. If you're lucky enough to get through it, some people get through it okay, but there's a lot of people that don't. The long hauler, as they call them. They're going to live the rest of their lives. And they trying to fix it that that's a, you know, that is a, it's going to be a pre existing condition. Look, he going to sign an executive order saying everybody got, can't get rid of pre, those things don't mean nothing when he signs that. And if you ain't figured that out now, you're more ignorant than I thought you was. In the middle of a, I know Joe Biden says it all the time. I know, but chance to think about it. Middle of a pandemic, which he, he let get like this. He let it get out of hand. Sure, people would have died. Absolutely. It's a horrible thing, but not 200,000 people, a thousand that's, people every damn day. No. <laughs> that's crazy. That's There's crazy. no other country with that many people. I mean, it, are the ups and downs? Sure, there are. 
But at least the, the people that are dealing with the ups and downs as far as the virus is concerned, they, they're dealing with it. They're doing things. You're going to get rid of everybody's health care in the middle of this. And he don't give a damn. He don't give a damn about one of you. I think what he's going to do is he's going to hire a bunch of actors to play Trump doctors. And he's going to fire all the real doctors. He's going to put Trump doctors in the hospitals. And he's going to give them all names like, um, you know, um, Dick Cactus. Wow. Or, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um uh, Pablo uh, Strong Brain. I mean, strong Brain wouldn't be Pablo. I'm just trying to think of that. It's hard to get in that mindset because it's got to be Atlas, right? It's got to be a strong Baron. Like he he made up the name Baron and then named his son it. Yeah, it's like Scarlet Witch inventing her kids. Yeah, Trump doctors, and then you'll go to see the Trump doctors who have great names like uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Barry Constellation. And yeah, Dr. Constellation, uh, my knees hurt. Oh, you don't need a knee replacement. They're fine. And that's it. And the doctors write you a prescription. And It'll be a just, big piece of paper and a stamp that says Trump on it. And, yep. whomp, and he hands it to you, and you go back home and hurt. All right, now we're in the speed round. Uh, Jackie, the Senate Republicans report on Joe and Hunter Biden. Uh, that went great. I think they really nailed Hunter Biden. Yeah. That report that they worked so hard on, that they got, that, you know, they worked so hard on getting it from Ukraine from a Russian spy, more or less. It's really paid off. Yeah. Uh, that's a, uh, they're just dumbasses. I can't believe they keep winning. Not to mention treasonous, you know, sedition on and on. They're working. They're taking the information from a known enemy of the United States. Meddling in our elections right now. Doing it. That's what I'm saying. He ain't got a hold of FBI yet because Ray gets up there and tells the truth still. He's one of the few people. They can do it. I guess it's too close to the election. If he somehow pulls it off, Ray is gone. I'm telling you. Ray gets up there and says, the FBI said, there ain't no Antifa. That's made up. There ain't no voter fraud. And Russia is doing every damn thing they can to help President Trump win this election. As a head of the FBI saying that, as the exact opposite of everything come out of the damn president's mouth. Uh, New York judge ruled that Eric Trump, though, must sit for a uh, deposition. Good. I hope it's a so long fraud, fraud case against the Trump organization. Uh, this has to happen before October 7th. He said he'd do it after the election. I think he said, I'll show up after the election. Excuse me. Well, what, what's he running for? Yeah. Uh, Bloomberg. Uh, they can't pay the fee. So Florida passed this law to let uh, felons vote. They passed the law because people voted for it, right? Flor- yeah. Floridians. They voted. They asked the people they of the state, what do y'all think? Everybody voted. Yes. They should be. If, you, if you paid your price, you done yep. your time, you ought to yep. be able to vote. Yes, sir. And, and if you live in Florida, more than likely, you know, at least one felon. Now, look, these people, like people are felons because of the drug war for a bunch of contrived reasons. A lot of black people, a lot of brown people. It's bullshit. I don't think you should not have the right to vote. I mean, I don't think that's something people should be able to take away from you. I mean, you take a lot of stuff away from people who do terrible things, but. I mean, why? Do, what's the voting got to do with it? It just doesn't seem. Yeah. Well, once they said, this once they said, everybody heart could liberal. Once everybody can vote. Oh yeah, Bobby. Yeah, you can vote, but it's gonna cost you how many hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
So then Bloomberg comes in. He's finally getting up off some of that money and say, oh, maybe I'll pay the, oh, you, they can vote if you pay the fees. Let me pay the fees. Now the Florida Attorney General is investigating him trying to pay, pay the fees. Trying to get the FBI in on this, yeah. Y'all ain't going to be able to vote in Florida. It's one of those things where like, oh, that's, is that going to happen? It's like this whole week has been where we knew what was going to happen, and then it ha- happens, and then it still sucks. Yep. We're, we have too many glimmers of hope. You don't know whether to be hopeful, whether to be in the street throwing tuna cans, whether to be registering people to vote, whether to be texting people for, like, you don't know what to do. That's what they want. So y'all better fucking focus, put on a goddamn hey. Spotify playlist, like study time and center yourself. Watch a video of Trump getting booed. That always works for me. That'll help a little bit. Yeah. There, there, the, the few videos is uh, Bitch McConnell falling down. Mm-hmm. That's Trump good. getting booed. And I uh-huh. think Lindsey Graham begging for money on Fox News. <laughs> it's good. What's he say? How's he? How, what's he? He do? just on there, you know, like I, they they raising so much more money than me because they they hate me. They hate me so <laughs> much. Like, well, yeah, I uh, know. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody watching Fox News. Even Fox News viewers are like, yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah, of course. That ain't news to nobody. <laughs> I hope that man beats him. I sure as hell hope that man beats him. That'd be good. Yep. That'd be one good thing to come out of this. And if not, Jackie, if uh if Trump wins or seizes power and Lindsey Graham is still in there, if they throw away all the all the Lindsey Graham ballots and just put him in there again, at least we can go to Cracker Barrel and get drunk. I am. I can't go no west when the bias is gone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we can't go till then. Well, I mean, if Trump wins again, I'm pretty sure the people will start forcing you into Cracker Barrels. Yeah. And th- that's what a. Uh, and I don't mean to downplay the chance of concentration camps in America in 2021. I mean, we have them. They're here now. Yeah. They're uh, forced in hysterectomies on people. Yep, they got a doctor. Just uh, what's wrong with her? Uh, let me do this. That'll help. Yeah, that's things are uh, real bad. If you're voting on like for abortion, uh, what am I? Am I having this argument? Well, you so you like unborn babies, but you don't like the eyes. Yeah. Like, I'm, why am I even saying that out loud on this podcast? Where obviously nobody listening. Uh, thinks that way and if somebody did they'd be like what I don't, that doesn't make sense to me i'm gonna vote for uh amy judge amy so cracker barrel is adding alcohol it would be a very appropriate trump sort of camp where they force you into there you can't wear a mask you have to eat and get a mimosa and then you got like maybe they make you go to a church like any protestant church you get to pick or Catholic because of Judge Amy. Yeah. You get to pick a church and then you go and then you have to go to Cracker Barrel and order a mimosa and they got them old boys with the beards and the guns there, you know, making sure you eat that hash brown casserole and breathe on each other. And then you gotta go go home and infect your families. If that's if you know, if I had to die, if I was sentenced to death or for whatever reason, I there could be worse things than going to Cracker Barrel late and, and, and getting drunk. I don't know. After they add, Once they add the alcohol, I just don't know if I want to get drunk with a bunch of old people at Cracker Barrel. I bet the tips will go up to, I don't know, maybe 5%. How many of them drunks going to play that triangle game, get frustrated with it, throw it across the damn store? I have a, a damn nightmare phobia of being a Cracker Barrel drunk and somebody trying to play that game, and I start laughing at them because they can't do it. And then they jab me in the eye with one of them pins. Yeah. I, I got a nightmare phobia of a pin, that pin going in my eye. You know what I'm talking about? That's a, that's a reality coming soon. Yeah, but you eat, you you ain't gonna eat them uh, chicken dumplings. I, they're good. I just 
I, I, I feel like I'm coming down with something. I kind of like him pillowy dumplings better than these. Oh, you do, huh? Give me that. Give me that game pen. Right Stand now. Eye, right now yeah. with it. Yep. But I mean, them chicken dumplings pretty good. I mean, they are pretty good. I could probably yeah. choke them down. 